Thomas, congratulations, a hard fought win. What did you make of the performance today? It was okay. Uh, it was okay defensively and, and um, in terms of discipline. Yeah, we lack a bit rhythm and we lack a bit fluidity in our match, in our in our game, and uh, we, we struggle a bit to, to create a lot of chances and, and, and dangerous attacks. And struggle a bit in like in like in like the rhythm, have the feeling offensively. It's nothing new, and there are a lot of reasons why it's like this. We come from different competitions. We haven't played a, le a league game in, in four weeks, which is everything a bit strange. And you win a big title, and there was a lot of pressure on us, and the boys put a lot of pressure on them. And there's almost no space to relieve it, and, and you can feel it. It's not like it's not easy for us to be out there and to find solutions. We, we struggle a bit in finding, and, and, and we try hard, and, and it looks a bit like this. So, but at least we're trying and we're not giving in and, and, and we're fighting for that, one, for that one decisive goal, we're fighting for that one decisive chance and I'm, I'm happy that we made it with a bit of luck very late, but not undeserved, I would say. How much did you have to change the game plan with the players that you lost yesterday? Well, suddenly we had no wing-backs anymore, so there was like, it was then clear we maybe go for a back four because we wanted to defend in a back four against their three strikers and not get uh, like pinned with three strikers against the back five. Suddenly was Aspi out and then was even uh, Callum out, so we ran out a little bit of, of right wing backs. Um, but that's not, yeah, it was, yeah, maybe it would have made things a bit easier and build up and in control of the game to play in a back five. But uh, you can also play in a back four uh, like, like we did and control the game a bit better. It was not like I had not the feeling also in halftime that it's a tactical problem. We lacked a bit like percentage in duels and needed to step up in it and, and uh, yeah, played a little bit more like a cup game, which we did then and, and keep the, to, to, to tell the players to keep the belief and go for this one chance and keep the clean sheet and, and defend uh, with passion and, and, and structure. So. That's what it sometimes needs if you arrive in, in a weather like this in, in, in Crystal Palace. You made the triple change and the subs made an Im immediate impact, didn't they? Yeah, Kova, it's just with the first contact, the pass up front, and it was, was uh, um, straight the goal, which was then disallowed. Kova was very, very strong. Marcos had a huge impact with the assist, and, and uh, for Ruben, he drained so good that he deserved to, to be on the pitch. We saw you talking to Ruben at full time. What were you, what were you saying to him? Quick feedback. A quick feedback to his what he did in some situations on the pitch. I'll leave it there then. Um, Hakim Ziyech, another crucial goal from him. How well is he playing for you at the moment? Well, it suits him if we play a 4 1 for 1. He has his best position where he feels most comfortable. And um, yeah, this is, this is how it is. And uh, he has a good mix at the moment to take risk and not, where not to take risk. And uh, it's good because he has. Uh, like I said, when he when he plays in a four-one-four-one for one and he has the right wing fast, he's is his strongest strongest uh, um, position, and I'm I'm happy for him that he can help us. He's so decisive in a moment. Good. And finally, you go again on Tuesday. Do you expect to get any players back for the Lille game? We will push for Aspi, of course, and we will push for Mason. But Mason will be a bit very early. I don't I don't think we will make it, but we will try, and then then let's see. Andreas, that felt like a hard-fought victory today. How was it for you? No, exactly that. I think we are very pleased to take the three points. Uh, but the circumstances made it very difficult to play. You know the pretty football we wanna we wanna play. Um, but the wind, the pitch was not the best, uh, and yeah, the wind was was terrible. Um, so we yeah we had to fight it fight it back uh, back home, and I think that's what we did. Uh, no one gave up, and I think that's the main thing that we take away from this. You know, we were patient and. Yeah, didn't give up and, and worked until the end. Um, we know that's not our level, but again, uh, sometimes that happens, and it was a hard, hard way to get back into Premier League games. Um, it's been a while, uh, but yeah, uh, I think everyone inside is just very pleased with uh, with the three points. It's a really good point because that was the first league game in a month. Is it? A, it I mean, how much do you have to change the, the pace of the of the game? And I guess it's it's the flow of it as well, isn't it? No, yeah, I mean, I think every team tries not to look too far ahead. Um, so I think we've been quite good at keeping keeping it to game to game. Uh, but it is hard with a lot of travelling. Uh, you know, we go from the heat to, to the cold and, and all this stuff. Uh, 120 minutes for some of the boys. Uh, uh, 
two times running 20 minutes uh, in kind of you know a short period of time. Um, so it's, it's been tough and mentally draining, but uh, I think we're doing everything we can to you know recover well. And this was a hard way to get back into Premier League, but we got the three points, which was the most important thing for us right now. And yeah, like I said, it's not a level, but we take it. We were speaking to the manager just now about changing the game plan because obviously losing players to injury not ideal, and, and then changing the system as well. Uh, yeah, uh, I was a victim of one of them. <laughs> nah, coming uh, on to that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, yeah, I think again, everyone is just getting on with what we have. Uh, everyone knows it's been a tough period of time. Uh, been a bit unlucky with with the injuries. Um, some long term, some. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know what you call it. A few weeks or whatever. So it's. It's been tough, uh, but everyone's getting on with it. And uh, yeah, like I said, we've been traveling a lot and, uh, and everything, but no excuses. We we know that this is part of it and we, we love it. You know, we are in every competition that we can still take some silverware home to, to, to Stamford Bridge. And I think that's what we're working towards. As you alluded to there, you played out of position right back, relying on your memory banks. Can you remember the last time you played there? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was the next year before it was called UEFA Champions League. Uh, it's been a while. Not my, my ideal game, but uh, we, we, like I said, we, we take it as, it as it comes. And I enjoy sometimes playing a new position, but it's it, it was definitely been a while and it's been a, a bit awkward. And then in a game like this, where the wind is taking a big part of like the long balls and all this stuff, it, it was it was difficult for me. Um, but yeah, I take it. Like I said, we fight away, uh, won the win, and yeah, that's all we that's what we're pleased with. You made it look seamless, and then you go again on Tuesday. So, how important is rest now before Lille at, at the bridge? No, yeah, it's going to be, I think, the main focus a lot in the next two days. Uh, get in, uh, a couple of them, do our recoveries, and yeah, be ready to go again as much as we can. Like everyone knows, it's a tough period, like I said. But and like I said again, but we end every competition, and we want to win something, and this is a, a big chance, and we have to. We at home as well. This should be our game and our approach to the game that uh, defines how the outcome of it.